Hello and welcome. My name is Steve Disher and I am a Microtech trainer. And today in my instructional video, I want to show you how to use IP firewall address list when you're creating firewall rules, mangle rules, NAT rules, and that type of thing. So the purpose of IP firewall address list is to greatly speed up the amount of time that it takes for you to create configurations, but also to improve the efficiency of the router. So we're going to look at Winbox now and launch a Winbox session and log into a router that we have here in our lab. We're going to be working in IP firewall in the filter rules and we'll begin by creating a very simple rule on the input chain and this rule says that if traffic is coming from 192.168.1.0/24 we're going to accept that traffic so it's a very simplistic rule it doesn't really accomplish much but it just gives us an idea of what a rule looks like if we do not use address list so in this case we're restricting this rule to any traffic that's coming from this class C subnet now if we wanted to create other rules that were similar to this rule we could copy the rule and save it copy it again and save it and so on and in the process we've created three different rules. We can create the same configuration by using only one rule in something called the address list. So we'll do that now. We'll go ahead and we will get rid of two of the rules that we created. And we'll make some changes to this very first rule. So instead of specifying the source address here on the general tab, we'll get rid of that, apply it, go over to the advanced tab and on the source address list we'll type in the name of an address list that we may not have even created yet so I'll call this one my local lands and so as you can see from the name this rule would probably apply to any local area networks that I had here in my particular configuration so I'll go ahead and save that and now I'll click over on the address list tab this is where we're going to create address list entries that we want that rule to apply to. So the first thing I will do is select the name and the, notice the name has been populated because I used that name in the rule that I just created. And I'll tell it I want this to apply to this particular subnet 192.168.1.0 and I'll hit apply. Now I can copy that rule, save it again, copy it one more time so now I have three address list entries for three different class C subnets back on my filter rules tab I have one rule that one rule will reference all three of those address list so now anytime traffic comes from any of these address list entries this one rule will be applied so as you can see from the router's perspective it's much less intense for the router to process one rule than it is for it to process three rules or 300 or 3000 depending on what it is that you're using this particular function for address list can also be applied in NAT rules in exactly the same way they can also be applied in mangle rules as well so there you have it a very simplistic use for address list and you can scale this to a much more complex configuration and in doing so create efficient configurations that are easy for you to maintain we appreciate you joining us today for our microtech instructional video and hope that you'll check back soon